Hey Aquariuses, it's Sonny and this is your monthly for the month of April 2015. If you hear a little child in the background, that's my son. He wants to be known today, so yeah. But, um, so I'm going to do things a little bit different for my monthly. Uh, obviously this is a Celtic Cross reading. I may do, I don't know, I may do different things like each month, I don't know yet. But I do have a surprise for you guys. I got some new cards some oracle cards and um, I'm gonna ask my angels how many cards will I need for you guys to send you a special message so yeah hopefully you guys like that little treat but let's get started with everything obviously if you see smoke I don't know if you can that is my ensign but this card right here is going to represent you guys in the month of April oh so it just pretty much ties in, you know, with you. Because swords usually talk about air signs. You guys are just willing to, you know, think logic. Well, you're going to try to think logically. I feel like some of you may, you know, have some issues with this, honestly. Because I feel like your emotions will overcome some of you. But you're willing to think logically. And you're willing to, you know, get to the root of each problem. And pretty much cutting out the bullshit. And you want to, um, you're really hungry for new opportunities. Um, and you're ready to like just let things like get the things that you want like you're really ready for that But honestly like some of you may just be too emotional. So please be careful with this But you guys, you know are gonna be really really headstrong So that's always a good thing This card right here talks about the challenges that you guys may have Oh Okay, oh that, that ties in with me saying you may be emotional um, setting rules and boundaries towards certain things and some of you may be so headstrong as to getting the things that you want that you may be too much of a dictator and you may like just really be in your feelings you're doubting yourself too much you are it's like Oh, I want to be in control, but I just don't know what I need to be in control of. I don't know how to take control. Honestly, it, it starts with, you know, just calming down mentally and seeing what really needs to change. And if you can, you know, write things down, you know, do the pros and cons, this, whatever you want. But, you know, just please set some rules and boundaries toward things that you want to change. Because I feel like... This is more, you know, career and love related, but I feel like this is more career wise because some of you may feel like, you know, you're getting the shorter end of the, you're getting the shorter end of the stick. And a lot of you, you need to be leaders and you need to like be uh, supervisors and you need to be in charge of things. And I feel like a lot of you need that type of job. So, you know, just think about that if you can, but like, honestly, just set rules and boundaries towards yourself and then work your way out it starts with you you know in order to get some really good changes externally so yeah hopefully that makes sense but this card right here <laughs> is going to represent your past i'm going to let this card represent the um the month of march for you guys oh so a lot of you was worried about your finances and you you were worried about you know your independence and honestly like where you stand and in your field and within other people's field a lot of you like you uh, when it came when it came to relationships um you know you probably had a lot of people on your team no offense like you know you had one person and then you had someone else but honestly you just wanted to remain single you just wanted to play the field and see what's out there um yeah honestly you were more worried about your finances and um trying to find yourself honestly so, I mean, I feel like, you know, no real, no like bad thing from this, but your finances really took a toll on you guys. But this card right here is going to represent your future. And I feel like this, like you will see something um, within, mm, I'm seeing two numbers right now. I'm seeing a four and an, and an eight. So some of you will see this within the fourth day of April. Or within the last um, the last part of April or within the second half of May oh 
Okay, so you're really um, focusing on your finances. You're starting to see a change within your finances. Also, some of you um, may still be focusing on that earth sign lover. And if it's not an earth sign lover, this could just be someone who is really... Um, the one I said, you know, you probably uh, thought they were kind of clingy. I said this in your March... Um, 16th horoscope so yeah um you want this person in your future but you honestly like you're you're just so focused in on you need to find out what's going on with you external in internally in order for you to work your way out honestly but you really want this earth sign person in your future and you want to see where it goes but you have to set some rules and boundaries towards everything you need to think logically you do because i feel like a lot of you when it comes to this earth sign person or whoever this person may be you're really really scared and you're scared of losing your independence you're scared of you know possibly being clingy you're scared of putting your heart on the line which may cause some of you to try to control the situation too much and it's causing and it it makes you guys seem like you don't care and it makes you guys you know seem like really cold and detached but honestly your your fears and your doubts is pretty much getting the best of you so think logically within things please do that um but yeah more than likely this earth sign person will be in your future that maybe talks of a a favorite relationship you know oh i'm seeing a puppy and puppy a puppy love um loyalty like new relationships so you know just take this person seriously if you want to and take yourself seriously as well and just you know find a common ground and set rules and boundaries towards the relationship if that's what you want honestly but this card right here talks about um your best like best outcomes for things and you know how you should handle things oh yeah think positively honestly like understand that each day will get brighter if you set rules and boundaries and you you know like understand what you really want to do i feel like you guys you know um will gain some clarity within a few things if once you do that and also this i feel like <sighs> Stepping up, um, like, I'm seeing a lot of stones. And when I see stones, this talks about, like, stepping stones and um, creating new foundations. Um, new births, new projects. Um, really popular time for you guys in April. So, um, there's possibility of you um, being noticed on your job or possibly gaining a new job. Maybe, you know, you will enter into a relationship or think about entering a relationship with this earth sign person or maybe this person who you may think they're kind of clingy for some time. But, you know, if this is really what you want to do, then go for it. But also, like, I really feel like your finances will get better as well. So that's always a good thing. It is. But this card right here talks about... Oh, yeah. Honestly, when it comes to your finances, don't try to control shit. Like, just let things fall into place. Make some changes within yourself in order to get external changes. I'm going to keep saying that because I want you guys to comprehend that, honestly. But this card right here talks about um, your subconscious energy and messages from your angels and your guides and your God. Hmm. Remain focused. Don't pay attention to haters. Because I feel like a lot of people will hate on you. And you, you know, you're going to get people to try and tell you, oh, I heard something about this. This is coming with this um, earth sign person. If your friends or anything are, is telling you, you know, stuff about this earth sign person or this person who you kind of have doubts about, don't listen to them. Because I feel like they play a big part on your doubts and your fears. And um, part of that is the reason why... You know, you do the things that you do and that you may appear cold to certain things. Be your own person. Don't listen to what other people say. At the end of the day, like, I remember I said this to a certain Dorex and I don't remember. I said this to the Taurus. At the end of the day, when you die, you're the only one in that coffin. So, only you have your own back. Only you pretty much have the say-so of your life, you know, minus fate and God, stuff like that. But, like, honestly, just do what's best for you. Stop listening to what other people tell you. Oh, especially gossip. A lot of gossip is going to happen. So, don't pay attention to gossip because gossip is never good, especially if people really don't know what the fuck they're talking about, honestly. So, please, you know, go off your own judgment. Please do. But this card right here talks about 
um pretty much the uh, the advice you know things that you need to know so i'm kind of all over the place find a balance within things for real it's really all you need to do um i remember i said this for the capricorns life is uh like a currency there has to be a proper flow within your life in order for you to receive some really good blessings. You have to honestly kind of take the good with the bad, but no matter what, understand that you need to think positively. Understand that, you know, if you keep thinking negative, you're going to get negative. If you're always wondering, like, why does bad things always happen to me? How do you think? Like, if you always say, up oh, that, no, oh, well, things aren't going to be good for me, I'm always going to be lonely, then you are always going to be lonely. So, compromise. Oh, and this ties in with, uh, possibly with that earth sign person, or whoever you, whoever this may be. Compromise with them, and find a balance within, but honestly, find a balance within yourself. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it, you have to go inside out you can't go outside in so please work out on please work on yourself before you start changing external shit for real for real but this card right here talks about any um external influences and things that you know may hinder you from getting what you want oh yeah jump into a conclusion don't assume stuff you guys I feel like a lot of you may do that, and this could tie into your finances, or this could tie into this earth sign person. You're going to jump to a conclusion, especially if people are telling you things about this person. Yeah, because, okay, this, this is going to be kind of weird, but you see how this is. The gossip, like, they're really turning their back on this earth sign person, whoever this person may be. And you see how, like, she's looking down? I don't know why. I feel like this person, whoever, they're, whoever they are, they're really hurt because they know something's going on with you. And they can sense that you're being cold. And they have a feeling that, you know, people may be saying stuff behind their back. And that's the reason why, you know, uh, you may be cold with them. Yeah, it's because you're jumping to conclusions. And I feel like you may want to, you may even think about cutting this earth sign person off. Or whoever, you know, this person may be. So, honestly, don't jump into conclusions. And also, this ties in with your finances. Don't jump into conclusions on your finances. Like, always set a budget. Be realistic with your finances. If you want more finances... Find a better job. Find an extra job. Do what you need to do to, like, you know, have good about good about yourself, honestly. Sorry if I seem, like, really off. I really feel weird today. I really do. When I started doing, you know, when I started, when I started shuffling your cards, I just, I don't know, I felt weird. And a lot of you may feel really weird. Like, you're going to feel, like, really indecisive. My head hurts really bad. You're going to think so much. And it's just, like, you're waiting for that door to open. It's like you're looking at it. And you're like, door open. Why aren't you opening? It's because you need to place your hand on that knob and open it yourself. It starts with you. So, honestly, I remember I said for, you know, your March horoscope, you, you guys need to go through a transformation. And I feel like some of you may still go through another transformation within April. But please take it seriously. Please do, because off the gate, I'm seeing a three. So yeah, a lot of you um, may it, um, may not find your way out the tunnel until like the third week in April, which is like, you know, the end of April. So, oh my God, please don't go backwards, you guys. Don't listen to gossip. Don't jump into conclusions. Don't fight eagerly to get the things that you want. Please don't. Like, please do not jump into conclusions. I feel like a lot of you will do this. So yeah, but this card right here, talks about any doubts and fears no um any hopes and fears that you guys will have a lot of you will be so doubtful i mean i hate to like you know be negative right now but you guys are just going to jump into conclusions on a lot of stuff so please don't do that oh that that really ties in yeah you guys um are going to be kind of cold and you're going to give off this cold demeanor. Um, honestly, like when you guys go through a self-reflection and when you go through a period of wanting to be by yourself, a lot of you do appear cold. And it, it may be um, apparent to whoever this lover may be, who you want in your future or who you think about, you know, 
you know uh so honestly you may kind of turn your back on them a little bit you you may but honestly um just let them know you know that you are kind of going through something and you know you do need your space i mean it is what it is but um you need to be wise and learn from your experiences honestly that's what you really need to do um if you were in bad relationships don't take it out on other people just you know you live and you learn just don't make the same mistakes again make sure that people are genuine um if you can please uh talk to somebody you know talking would be really really beneficial for you guys but just don't be cold and don't make any rash and sudden um decisions because it's honestly going to backfire on you but I, I really feel some really good energy from this card right here and i really feel like a lot of you like will at the end of the day well in the month in april <laughs> you will like learn from your mistakes and you will be like dang i messed up maybe i was you know mean to certain people but um yeah you guys will be okay uh yeah it's just like you're really um off whack emotionally so yeah just like a lot of things you know it's not really going your way and you want to be you know in a better place within your life and it's, it's getting to you but don't let it get to you like with the sun card beautiful energy from this just think possibly you're you are gaining some good blessings it's just up to you to really grasp it so that's why i said you need to open up that door now by yourself it's not going to open on its own but this card right here is pretty much the outcome of april and what kind of month april will be for you guys yeah once again self-reflection you guys are still going through this whole meditation thing so please you know listen to what your body and what your intuition and what your angels um are telling you also you guys are losing interest within a few things so you may be losing interest within this lover you may be losing interest within the gossip you may be losing interest within being single possibly you may be losing interest within jumping conclusions within you know being all emotional feeling like you have you know no control on everything you guys are losing interest within that and you want better honestly it, it starts with you i'm going to pull out one other card because i feel like i should have so i'm going to do another um outcome for you guys Alright, so my angels tell me that I need two cards. Ooh, okay. I like that. So honestly, that it, it does make sense. You guys um, are losing interest within the bad in your life and you want good. So some of you may enter in a new relationship, whether it's with this earth sign person or, you know, a new relationship with yourself on loving yourself and really trusting yourself pretty much. And you're willing to set some um, beautiful foundations within your life. Also, you guys are hungry for opportunities. Oh, I remember I said that with the uh, Ace of Swords. And you guys, you know, are willing to plan for brighter and beautiful days. Honestly, you know, overall, the cards may look kind of weird, but the energy is like really, really beautiful. It's like you guys are, you're in, you're in the darkness kind of, but you guys are fighters. Honestly, that's what I really like about you guys. You guys are really, you know, about your business. Um, some of you may have some control issues, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, that's you guys. And this, that's just how you are. It's okay. But, you know, like, don't be cold to people who are really genuinely there for you. I feel like some of you will do that. You may be cold to that. And you may listen to the gossip. Don't do that. It's just really going to block you guys from, you know, getting any good blessings, honestly. Um, so April uh, is, is going to be like a really mental month for you guys. So yeah, that's going to suck. But honestly, I think towards the end of April, you know, that's when the sunshine will get brighter. And that's when you guys will learn from your experiences and you're willing to open your eyes to bigger and better things. And you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And once you open up that doorknob, you're going to gain many beautiful blessings, whether it's personal growth, relationships, financial wealth. You're going to gain some really good blessings. I feel like May is going to be um, a better month for you guys. Honestly, I really do. April, uh, it, it's still going to be like March. Honestly, it's, it's going to be very similar to March. But like I said, May is going to be so much better. But I'm going to pick out some cards 
from my Oracle deck. How many cards do I need, angels? Five, okay? My eight, five or six. Wow. So you guys have to, you're going to get a lot of messages from this card. So let's see. Is really drawing it to you. I need to pick out another card. So you guys are going to gain a lot of messages, honestly. A really, really lot of messages. So let's see. Trust your intuition. Listen to what your angels, the universe, your God, and your gut feelings, listen to what they're telling you. Because you're getting that for a reason. Pay attention to all the signs that the universe sends you as well. Like If you keep seeing... Like the word love or vacation or patience. Take that seriously. If you keep seeing random numbers, look those up. If you if you don't even know what they mean, honestly, you can ask me. I don't care. You know, like, please pay attention to that. Please do. This is really random, but I often I see the number 22 and 420 a lot. I need to be more grounded, honestly. <laughs> but new location. So some of you may do some moving. Or maybe this, I feel like this will be, um, for a lot of you, a new phase within your life. Yeah, so um, a lot of you may be settling into your home. Or you may, you know, go on vacation possibly. Or you may enter a new chapter within your life. So that's really, really cool. Romantic partner. So, some of you may choose, you know, that earth sign person or you may, um, you know, choose someone else or someone may come into your life. If you are single, you really aren't really talking to anyone. So, honestly, learn from your experiences. Don't see them as, you know, the same as everyone else. Because I really feel some really good positive energy from this card. I really do. More than likely, you may, um, within the month of April, you may meet this person on the sixth day. Or, you know, six weeks, which is in May. So that and that ties in with me saying, you know, May is going to be a better month for you guys, honestly. Oh, miracle healing. So you guys are gaining some healings and that ties in with your transformations. Because usually like when people go through a transformation or like a self-reflection, there is a sense of healing. So please heal yourself and take this time seriously. That's why I kept saying you have to start from within and it's better for you to, you know, start um, internally and then go out externally. So that ties in with what I said. I like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, this ties in as well. Detox. So honestly, more than likely, a lot of you will still go through this transformation, though you're, you're still going to be in your cocoon. You will gain your butterfly wings in May. So please be patient. But honestly, get rid of bad people. Um, get rid of people who gossip a lot. Get rid of your past fears, your doubts, things that you're still holding on to that happened to you like two to three years ago. Please let this go. It's going to be okay. Rise above problems. Honestly, it's best for you guys to see your problems from another person's point of view and to just know that you can't control anything. You have to let things fall into place on their own, honestly. And just, honestly, try not to worry about things so much. When this card pops up, this talks about, like, your intuition is going to be really strong and your dreams are going to be very, very strong. So, you know, please pay attention to that. And that usually happens with like a lot of people go through a transformation or like a self-reflection moment. So please listen to that. Listen to your gut feeling and that ties in with the trust your intuition. So my Aquarius is trying to have a good month in the month of April. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.